Uh, joining me is a uh, sophomore, Anna Wilgenbush, and cross country track and field head coach Nick Schneider. And since we last talked, Anna, you it was the SCAC um, championship preview. You've had four championship races. You won three of them, including qualifying for the NCAA uh, national championship. You first on the women's cross country program at UD to running the race and you also got the we're the first at UD in any program to get an NCAA All American. Just kinda can you talk about the part the process and the journey through this past month um, at each of those races? Yeah, I think uh, each race was its own um, kind of battle. Um, each race was had presented its own challenges. Um, and I just arrived at each race knowing that I was just going to give it my best um, and not knowing exactly what that would look like. Um, but it was a really exciting um, kind of ascent through this season that I didn't necessarily expect. Um, so it was, it was an amazing experience uh, this season as a whole. You're going into this race that you haven't really faced any uh, competition near you in the race, and then of course running in Colorado, you have the altitude there. Colorado College, this woman's team ended up winning uh, first place as a team, so several you know, strong runners there individually. Trinity has a couple of really good individuals that also, I believe, went to uh, the region as well, uh, the South Southeast region. But you were able to represent Dallas by winning the individual race for the SCAC, first championship by a UD runner there. Um, in school history, there's again our conference. You also broke, and then the next week, week um, you get the USCA, you break a school record um, in under 22 minutes for the first time um, this, that season. And then you do that again the following week for the South, Southeast region. You also picked up USCA All American and all, the, the region runner of the year. Um, can you just kind of talk about the unknown? That was kind of like the theme. It felt like talking with Coach and you guys this whole season was that unknown of you know what's the elements going to be like, or whether it's going, what's the competition is going to be like, and kind of how you battled that as you went through the races. Mm. Absolutely, I think the unknown actually um, can almost help in a race um, rather than kind of get comfortable um, in a certain situation or um, just kind of being assured of a win um, the like uncomfortable aspects like you said um, can actually kind of push you to the next level at least I found um, this season that did for me I never really quite got comfortable because there was always those elements um, of of surprise, whether that was the altitude in California or in Colorado, or the um, the competition in the other races, not really knowing who would be there, um, it kind of kept me on the on my toes, um, and I had the confidence of Coach in my ear, you know, telling me um, that I could do it. Um, but um, yeah, I think that element of the unknown was actually kind of helpful. And speaking of the unknown, Coach, you. What an unknown situation on the season coming in after the first race had already been done by the both the men's and women's program preseason's already been complete. Can you just kind of talk about how you made the transition of being able to lead the programs, but also Anna specifically? Well, I think that most of the, you know, for the most part, I mean, coaching part for me is the easy part. I mean, I've been doing it for so many years. Uh, you know, uh, coaching high school, collegiately, uh, club, everything, both cross country and track, um, you know, especially on the distance side of the track. Um, I think really there were some things I wish I could have done, uh, but only because I got hired on so late, um, I actually did things that uh, the old coach did as well, and I just um, um, implemented some of my things in as well. Um, so. Uh, next year for sure, we're definitely going to be doing a few things we didn't do this past. Actually, it's already starting for the track season with my distance athletes. There's things they're doing now that they didn't do during cross country. Um, as for Anna, you know, um, same things I did before. You know, I coached several athletes her caliber as well. And, uh, you know, one of my main things was, you know, um, uh, training, training with the men. And I, I had Anna train with Max and several other top males, and that really helped out, as, you know, tremendously. 
uh, you know, and um, how we do it during the season. You know, you, if you miss so many practices during a year, you know, you're going to lose a lot. And Anna really, for the most part, 99% of the time, showed up for all the practices. And if you're going to show up for all the practices and follow that schedule all the way through, that, that training plan we give our athletes is designed to, you know, be competitive and to be successful in, during championship season. You know, and I, I mentioned this all the time before, you know, whatever we do at the meets, mid-season, yeah, she's winning again, all these meets, like five, six, seven in a row. Hey, if she came in second and third place because she had heavy legs, I wouldn't mind. You know, my main focus, and it should be every collegiate coach, their main focus, you know, when we're coaching distance is what, how we're going to perform to our conference, how we're going to perform to USCAAs, how we're going to perform during the NCAAs. You know, so, you know, that's what our training plan um, entails. Uh, Anna, um, you were the first, like I said earlier, you were the first from the women's program to race in the NCAA reach um, nationals, and then only the second from the school to race in the NCAA nationals. I'm Todd Hall Famer for the men's cross country side, was the other uh, representative. Another cool uh, note. Of the top 40 that were all Americans, you were the only one from the South Southeast region to make it into the top 40. Um, so not only getting run of the year, that you were the only one from that region to compete with the uh, other regions around the nation. Um, what does representing the University of Dallas and then the athletics department mean to you? I think it means everything to um, to my running. Um, to be able to wear the jersey that says University of Dallas and know that um, that's who I'm running for it just gives context and meaning to all of these races. I'm, I'm not in it for myself. Um, I'm running for UD and for God ultimately. And what was the biggest difference competing at nationals versus any of your other races this season? I, I, yeah, very clearly that was definitely the competition. Um, I had never had people running in front of me who I knew that I like wouldn't be able to catch up with, um, and so that was just a very, very different feeling than the other races. I wasn't um, in defense mode of <laughs> like defending my position as um, the top runner, um, so that was definitely an adjustment. Um, but it was also really cool to be able to run in a pack and. Um, really feel pushed by all the runners around me. Last question, how do you train next fall being in Rome uh, this spring? You were a track runner in the spring of 2019, being able to grow, coming back to campus. How do you just continue that? You've led, you've had the top uh, time for a UD women's cross country runner, both in every race you've been in here at UD. So how do you kind of take that next step to um, be ready for your next, your junior year? It'll definitely be a challenge to train in Rome, but I know that the training that you put in months before the season even starts really can make or break a season. So I am definitely committed to putting in that work and putting in those miles um, so that I can have a great season next year. My last question for Coach. <clears throat> any advice for any upcoming runners? Um, what to expect to look forward to next season? Uh, there's going to be a few changes coming in for the distance program in the fall and in the spring. I mean, this is, this is actually my first, I mean, I was hired pretty much in season. So it was, it was a, trying to learn the culture, trying to learn, um, you know, what they do here, trying to learn academics, you know. And um, I think that um, for recruits coming in, I mean, we, we've got some great recruits coming in now. Um, I'm, I'm, I've been really recruiting hard. Um, so, and then also our athletes that we have right now have, um, our women's team has been doing really good. Uh, they did really phenomenal, um, and as, as much as our men, as, as, you know, as our men's team has been doing phenomenal as well, you know, with a lot of PRs and stuff like that, and they're young. So, you know, with our very young team coming in next year, uh, with good recruits coming in, I, I really think we're going to start challenging, you know, the top two teams, you know, uh, in conference. Uh, you know, the next next uh, several seasons. Um, and, and, uh, yeah, so it's going to be pretty exciting, very exciting for uh, our cross-country and track and field program. And all the coaching, the, all everything done with the coaching was phenomenal. Um, you know, I think, I think as a team for both sides, we did a great job.
job. Um, so looking forward to the next couple of years and looking forward to going to the national championships for both cross country and track mm -hmm. the next couple of years. It's going to be a lot of fun.